Okay, chess time again. I'm on chess.com. I'm about to play a 10 minute game. And let's go. Let's find an opponent. 1297, I'm white. Play my favorite, e4. And what have we got here? e5. So I'll continue with knight f3. And a Roy Lopez once again. Ah, first time I've seen a6 in a long time. And b5. Okay. This is interesting. He's giving up his e5 pawn. Um, and it doesn't seem like there's any... Oh, there is queen... Um, if knight takes e5, there's queen... E7 attacking the knight, but then D4. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking the pawn in this position. Um, there usually is. It's it's usually not a good idea to capture this pawn in the Roy Lopez, but here I don't really see a problem with it. Let's just check it again. Knight takes. Well, queen e7, or well, there's queen f6, doesn't seem queen f6 is too bad. Queen g5, ah, uh, queen, I see, queen g5 hits the knight and hits the g2 pawn. Okay, so I can't take the pawn. So I've got, I'll play something else, and looks like he's going to get my bishop but that doesn't really concern me too much so I'll let you capture my bishop and I'll get possibly counterplay along the A file if he captures my bishop on B3 nope okay C5 okay so it's either now or never. You gonna take my bishop or not? Um, he's gonna weaken my center if he captures my bishop. Maybe actually bishop. Uh, he hasn't taken it anyway. Okay. Uh, I think only move is knight d5. Now expecting a capture on b3. If he's not going to capture on b3, then that knight a5 move was a bit pointless, I think. So, is he going to capture on b3? So now if I play... Uh, it's very strange. Okay, I can capture... The pawn, b pawn. a takes b, c takes b. break down these pawns, I think. So C, C takes B. And now Bishop A2. I've got pressure on the Knight. His King hasn't castled. If I play bishop a2, then there's b3. And bishop takes knight, takes pawn, takes... Pawns are a bit weak. Hmm. There is, um, bishop a4. Um. Let's not think too much, let's play bishop a4. Try and, uh, catch back up on the clock. So, um... I want to maintain my bishop, I think, so... Uh-huh, I capture, he captures... He's got... doesn't... Mm, that wins a... no, he doesn't win a pawn, actually. Not quite. Okay, I'll just castle here. Let's play a... 
safe move. Now, bishop, now uh, playing d3 looks reasonable. Whoa, what is this? g5, this is crazy. Surely this is just crazy. Looking for g4. Or something. Surely his king position is really weak. But he's going to play g4 to kick my knight. Um, I can play knight e3. So if g4 takes, but if I play knight e3, then even h5 comes. Um, this is interesting. How do I want to look at this? I don't know, I'm down on time. So I don't really know how to approach this. Play knight e3. Preventing g4 for, for the moment. never seen this before so I don't know if I'm playing it right I'm probably not playing it right I'm a bit concerned that this, that this will go pear-shaped for me very quickly I'm not really expecting knight takes f3 for some reason I'm, I'm thinking uh, Well, now I can just take this pawn. I can just take this pawn now. But maybe maybe it's a trap. Okay, first I'll take here. And then play knight f5. Gaining a tempo on his bishop. And attacking this pawn. And I'm uh, attacking g5 as well with my bishop. So this looks quite pleasant. So what does he do about all these threats? I'm attacking his bishop, attacking this pawn, and I'm attacking this pawn. So obviously this bishop needs to move. Or the queen protects, okay. So I'll capture this pawn now. And... I'm attacking this knight and, and I'm attacking this pawn and I missed that move but I'm still attacking this knight and this pawn he's coming in for the kill but my pieces are all around his king surely I can uh... uh what? I don't understand that move actually I can just take I will just take, I think. I don't think it's a trap. I can't see what the line would be. The so queen takes g4. So I'm up a piece now. Um, okay. Take 
attacking h2, attacking h7. What else is threatened? A bishop on d7 is on, sorry, on a4. Pointing at d7 is reasonable. In fact, now bishop b3, I think, is a threat. Bishop b3 with the idea of queen takes f7, and I pick up the rook. So what does he do about his bishop on h7 now? Surely he just needs to move back. Yes, and he does. And if I take, is that too dangerous for? Hmm. Running low on time. I'll play this anyway, I think. Bishop b3. He's got rook takes. Oh. I've got a take. <clears throat> I don't really think my king is in that much danger, though. So. I could be wrong, though. Uh-huh. So now I'm threatening a couple things, maybe. Um, surely if he moves his king to a wrong spot, I can play a knight check to pick up the queen. Uh, that, that would force the queens off. I would go down to material. I've only got two minutes. I've got no more checks, do I? Half a piece. Should I give the piece back, or is there anything better? Um, quickly. How do I proceed? Oh, there's a check here. Definitely don't want to draw. I want to win this game. Uh huh. So here we go. This has got to be better for me. I'm now just a piece up. This should be a lot more comfortable. Okay, let's activate the rest of my pieces. Uh, not thinking too much, let's just get going. Low on time, let's just take that. I'm a piece up, let's just take it. Get some pieces out. And... Okay. He's going to play rook h1 check. I can move king f2. Even though he's down, he should just keep on playing. Uh, king f2 now. He's going to push these pawns, hey? Um... No, uh, let's just block this off. So we'll block that off. Okay, uh, let's attack this rook. Maybe I've got to get my rooks going. 
my pawns going. So what's he do about this pawn now? I think he's left this too late. He has left this too late. He doesn't. Uh, there's no way he can keep this pawn from queening. No, nope, there's. I c can't see a way. There's only rook a8 and, and to move the king. Yep. Pretty confident. This is the end of the game, right here. There is no way to keep this pawn from queening. So now I've got his rook off, and this is um, pretty easy, but big trouble is time pressure, of course. And I am very, very low on time. So I need to win this pretty quickly. He's still going for it. Okay. Okay, if he moves his king, he'll just take, and, and that's mate. Good game. That went down. Whew, that went down to the wire. That was that was fun. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's take a little look quickly. So Roy Lopez, with uh, an, an early a6 and then b5. I thought this knight a5 was weird. Um, surely I thought he was just going to take on b3, but he didn't ever take on b3. Which is odd. So I get to maintain my bishop in castles. I thought g5 was really weird, and his king is um, a bit vulnerable in this position. So probably I, I probably played this wrong, but. Uh, so sort of taking here and playing knight f5 was good. So we're attacking the, the bishop and attacking the d4 pawn and attacking the g5 pawn. So, so take on g5. I didn't see this move, but it's not really that dangerous. Just king h1. And it, that was just a blunder. So took that. Attacking the bishop. Took that. And bishop b3. Attacking the pawn. Took the pawn. So a couple of checks, and now queen to d6, forces the queens off, and now this is very easy for me, I'm just up, up, up a piece, just checks, and here's taking that off, and now this is just a matter of trying to get my king safe. So now with that move he's preparing um, rook b to h6, so I need to give my king some air, so f4 is necessary. And get my king out. I can stop these pawns, and I can get my pawns going. So I force him to give up a rook. I capture this pawn. I get that pawn off. Capture this pawn, and now this is just very simple. Take that pawn and it's mate. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.